Matt Prudosiander, this is your move of the week. Don't forget, this month, June 30th, at the Midway, 900 Marin Street here in San Francisco. Doors at six, prelims at seven, bites at eight. It's gonna be the KO Finisher Pro. It's gonna be uh, two eight-man divisions, heavy with no gi, and 170s and under with gi, plus some preliminary fights, super fights, I'll see what I can do. With Go-Go Dancers, Tattoo Art shoot, Show, tattooing on premises, DJs, alcohol, violence. KO Finisher Pro. And now, I'll do a move of the week. This is Brisham. And we're gonna do a, a go to the knees where you opt to go to your knees instead of getting your guard passed. And the only reason it's gonna work is because of my hand position. So I'm already preemptively on my side and he was passing my guard. If I have my arms out, I am not gonna pa I'm not gonna go to my knees, I'm just gonna get stalled. So it's very important that I already got my elbow in and this hand right here is controlling the cross face. No, no, Brisham. No, Brisham, don't kill me in front of everybody. So he's trying to get my head, and I already have my hand here. That's already gonna facilitate, your big word of the week, that I can pummel under. And then I'm gonna scoot away from him. I don't wanna turn like this, like a hot dog right in front of him. I wanna make sure that I scoot away, and I thread the leg, and I fold my arm, and then I'm gonna come in and go to my knees. I can't let go and get up. I have to use my forehead. So whether I'm on a single or a double, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna use my forehead on the floor because I can't let go of the guy's leg. And then I crawl my butt up, and then I'll either take the guy down with a double, but in this case, we're gonna do an Iranian. I'm gonna scoot in deeper, and I'm gonna use my hand on the floor, and I'm gonna look up at the sky, and I'm gonna go over and under, and I'm gonna tilt a whirl, and I'm gonna come down with my shoulder really hard right there, but I didn't do it, I was nice, right? And then I'm gonna keep the control of the legs, I can start to turn his hips and finish my, my stabilization. So, once again, your, your, hand, your hand position is paramount. If I'm like this, I'm not fucking going anywhere, okay? Everything gotta ask, your hands and feet should stay inside of the ride until completely stopped. So I got my elbows here and I already got angles, so I'm on my side, I'm not gonna lay flat on the floor. I either do unicorn or big nose, and I'm gonna start to scoot away. Now if I get the underhook, they usually freak out and they start moving that way. Then I move away. Then I thread and I fold the arm and I'm gonna go to my knees and get the pant legs or the legs themselves. I'm gonna use my forehead and I get up. And I scoot in deep because he didn't sprawl very much and I use the hand on the floor and I look up at God. And I go over under, and I tilt the whirl him. I come down with that shoulder right in his sternum. And then right here, I can control the, the legs and start to turn his hips away from him. One more time for these stupid people. I know you're out there. So, he's passing, I got my correct hand position. I got the underhook, he starts moving away from me. He moves away, I move away. I turn, I go to my knees. I use my forehead and my toes, I get up. I dive in deeper and I go hand on the floor, I look up and I tilt the whirl. Come down, try to control the hip movement. Don't forget, KO Finisher, Pro, June 30th. That's your move of the week. Fuck you, Isis. Go train.